Hey what's up guys, Droil here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this really eye catchy 3D text effect which is going to be helpful especially if you are creating something like poster or flyers. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So first of all obviously we need to create a new document and for that go to file and create a new document and now the image size the width is shorter than the height so I am going to with 1400 and the height is going to be 2000 and the resolution is 240 now make sure that if you increase resolution too much like 300, 300 uh, 600 it is gonna put a lot of load on your system so you have to be careful while using these numbers and that's it so hit ok so this is our new document first of all I'm gonna double click and unlock and if your uh, interface doesn't look like this, let me turn on to maybe photography so it looks more familiar. So this is going to be your normal interface. Now first of all, you need to type text, like whatever you are going to type. So I'm going to type the most simple thing possible. So first of all, type any letter. So it's T and then click on your layer. Now create a new blank layer. Now again click and type another layer another text sorry and after that create another blank layer and type uh, another text so as you can uh, see that you have to make sure that your each and every letter is on individual layer so you can manage it individually once you convert it into 3d so that's the only reason we are going to um, going through all of this trouble so again T and in case you are wondering the font style I am using is uh, Hiruko uh, which is I think my default Photoshop and if you don't have I will try to link this text so you can download if you don't have this one now I'm gonna fast forward and adjust this text so you can see how you can use it So as you guys can see I have already adjusted my text and you can adjust it any way you want just should be fine with you. So as you guys can see here these are actual three text uh, so we have to convert it into a 3D. So right click and select new 3D extrusion from selected layer and it will ask you to change your workspace to 3D and say yes because it's gonna help you to work faster in 3D. Now here you have different type of tools which are not going to be very helpful. Uh, because once you use these tools, they are actually going to rotate your whole scene, which you do not need. Actually, we need to rotate only and only our text. So also make sure that you have selected this uh, move tool here, also known as like marquee tool. Because otherwise, if you have selected any other thing, it won't show you these options to move stuff. So make sure you have selected this tool. And after that, click on your text and, up, and then it will show you different type of tools. So the middle one shows you how to rotate, uh, like, like it allows you to rotate stuff. So keep rotating it until it looks satisfying to you. So I'm going to adjust it even a little bit more and then a little bit from top, something like that. And you can also adjust it as much as you want. And it will take a little practice to understand which way you are rotating stuff. And even though I am quite experienced a little in 3D, it is still big hassle for me to adjust this stuff. So you have to be really careful while using this or it can really frustrate you a lot so yeah that's the problem with a little problem with Photoshop 3D so now let's do the another letter that's E so right click select a new 3D extrusion from the layer and as always select your letter not don't use these tools but select your letter and then rotate it a, a little bit until it looks really nice so that looks great and you can also use these tools to move it or you can also scale this uh, using this box if you think that one letter should be bigger smaller or something so these tools can be a little problem as I said so I'm gonna do my best to get close to the our original output so that's that is looking really fine to me now let's go back to your layers and select X right click new 3d extrusion from the layer uh, I wanted to fast forward this part but then I thought it would be really nice if you guys could see that uh, this can be a bit of a challenge I think this is the most challenging part of the whole effect yes I'm not kidding 
because if you don't adjust and uh, adjust the size and the proportion properly then all the other hard work is just not gonna like work really nice so uh, let's with the uh, last one right click and select new 3d extrusion from the layer select this one and I'm gonna adjust it a little something like this and a bit rotate from here so that looks really great so that is fine now as you can see we have this little little shadows here which uh, does not looking which does not work really nice with this effect since uh, other ones don't have them so all you have to do is select your each layer go to 3d and here you have your infinite light and there you have option for the shadows and uncheck that so it will get rid of the all the cast shadow that your text have so I'm just gonna go back and remove it from each and every layer so let's go back to E into 3d select your infinite light and remove the shadow so it looks it matches with other things and especially we do not need it right now or if you think that the, you can do something creative with shadows then go with it don't worry about it so that looks kind of okay to me and I'm gonna make it bit together I'm gonna slide it quite a bit here so that looks great and one really important thing that I forgot to tell you that the font style if you have selected the wrong font for particular effect it will really like look like a disaster at first so keep changing your font style to real uh, to find out that which font is working really nice for this particular effect so this is quite close to this one not as good because that one obviously took many hours to be done so I'm gonna select my layer and then adjust it a little bit here and maybe rotate from here so that's great okay now it is almost done now all you have to do is change colors for each and every text to change the color of a text select first of all your layer and then go to 3d and here you have this really nice option if it's hidden something like this all you have to do is click on this arrow and you will find these options so select your first and this is actually the different type of materials as you can see it changes different part of your text so I'm gonna select the first one hold down my shift key and I will select this last one and then in the diffuse I'm gonna use the color code 33B44E I will put it on text while editing so you can see it properly and hit OK so this is the color of your text and you can change it anytime you want so you don't have to worry about it and the other thing is that we want it to be a bit glossy but not very noticeable so I'm just gonna increase the shine to 100% and then add a bit of maybe 20-23% of reflection so that looks really nice and then let's go back and I will change uh, I will fast forward it and change the color of every text and if you want the color codes for every text I will put it in video description so you don't have to worry about it so as you guys can see I am done with the color changing of my all of the text and now we have to give this a little bit of depth or maybe some shine so it looks even better so all you have to do is just go back to your normal layers and we are going with old school layer styles so in the layer styles select gradient overlay and in the gradient overlay I am using that regular default black to white gradient and now change the blend mode to overlay and it will give that really nice shine and depth into your text now if you think that it's way too much then go to soft light that also works really nice sometimes and change the maybe size or something and keep changing it until it looks really nice to you so I'm gonna try overlay a little bit and then let's decrease the opacity to figure out which one is working so that looks actually great but I think black one is way too much so I'm just gonna go to soft light and 100% opacity and hit OK now all you have to do is just uh, hold down your alt key uh, click on this F FX button don't uh, release the alt key and just uh, drag it on this one and then again drag it on this one and then on this one and all the hard work is done you don't have to worry about anything now if you think that some some text has different colors since as you can see the X is really dark so I'm just gonna double click on that one and select a gradient and here you can move actually the gradient so I'm just gonna bring it bit down so it looks really nice and hit OK so this way you can give even more depth into your text which looks really really nice 
Now it's time to create a background for our text and as you can see here uh, we have a really nice blue background which suits the color of the text and for that all you have to do is uh, create a new blank layer and fill in white color in that as you can see here I have and double click on that and select gradient overlay and in the gradient overlay instead of this black color I'm gonna select a white color and instead of this white color I'm gonna go with a sky blue color and we want the code it's 30B0CC so it is kind of a, a really nice transition between sky blue and white and then uh, in the style go to radial and then increase the scale a little bit uh, until it works really nice so if you want precise number the scale is 112 and everything else is totally default and I'm gonna hit OK so as you can see it is already looking really nice and now we need to create a kind of uh, starburst uh, if you don't know what a starburst is it is kind of a lines uh, some lines like this as you can see and this type of lines behind your text in circular manner so to create that uh, all you have to do is just create a new blank layer and uh, select your uh, magnetic lasso no not the magnetic but polygon lasso tool click once uh, second time and create something like this triangle and uh, once you reach to the end all you have to do is double click so it works really nice and now I'm gonna press alt backspace to fill in the white color but my foreground color is kind of gray so let's make it white first and then again press alt backspace so it's it will fill in the white color and then press ctrl D to remove the selection now I'm gonna adjust it into the center something like this and make it slightly bigger now press ctrl J and it will make a copy of it now again press ctrl T rotate it and put it here so that looks really nice I hit enter and I'm now gonna make a whole circle of it same as so I'm just gonna fast forward it so Now as you can see we have six different layers and the whole circle is ready so select your first copy and then select your last copy and then press ctrl E so it will make a single layer out of it and now all you have to do is just uh, change the opacity something like this and maybe you can try changing the blending mode to soft light which works actually even better so I'm just gonna increase the opacity a little bit and that looks really great now it's time to create a shadow under text so it uh, gives a better illusion that it is floating in the air so all you have to do is just select your ellipse marker tool uh, elliptical marker tool guard this words and create a new blank layer and i'm gonna name it uh, shadows and now just uh, draw a circle something like this don't make it round make it a bit flat so it looks like it's on a surface and now I'm gonna fill in my black color into this one and press ctrl D to remove the selection now go to filter blur and Gaussian blur uh, and don't blur it way too much uh, as long as it should look a little natural so that looks great to ok and then move it here right under your text so it w looks really nice in proportion and now decrease the opacity and you can try changing blend mode to maybe soft light if it's working if it works but no nope, it doesn't so let's put it on normal and just decrease the opacity so that looks great I might even make it a bit uh, wider and smaller to give it even better result so keep trying keep changing until it works really nice for you I'm gonna decrease even a little bit more so that looks great now we need to make the background even wider so create a new layer and let's just name it uh, bright ball you'll understand why so now select your brush tool and right click make sure that it is 0% hard and it is a round brush now make it big uh, something like this and create a white dot in the background and leave it as it is uh, as you can see it doesn't make a really big difference a minor one but little little things make a big difference in the end that looks great and now you can decrease the opacity a little if you want and that is looking really nice now we are almost done with the text effect and all you have to do is create a new gradient layer something like this and in the gradient I'm going with a regular black and white gradient hit OK and uh, change, uh, make it reverse something like this and change it to radial so that is not looking really great right now but you can increase the scale a little bit to make it even gradual and after that hit OK and change the blend mode to soft light uh, something like this 
and you have to put it on top of everything something like this uh, here so text in middle look kind of brighter and I'm gonna double click on it and it, uh, in decrease the size a little bit something like that and that looks fine and then change the opacity to maybe like 50% or 60% that looks really great uh, I think uh, 40 will cover it so that looks great and then create another gradient layer this uh, and this time select the same hit ok and let's make it radial reverse it and increase the size a bit so it looks darker on the edges hit ok and then change the blend mode to soft light and then select your layer mask and as you can see it is ridiculously bright in the middle and we do not need that so select your mask and paint with black color in the center so we don't have that color in the middle so that looks great and my system is about to crash I hope that it does not so I'm just gonna go back and paint it back here something like that and remove it from here and let's uh, decrease the scale a little and okay that's way too much so let's go with 110 that looks nice and then change the opacity to maybe like 40-50% that looks really nice and now the final step all you have to do is create a new blank layer and select vibrance here so it is kind of a color it has to be really really colorful for the effect I want and vibrance adds really nice color and contrast for the final effect so if you think it's way too much decrease it a little but that looks really nice so we just created really nice poster worthy text effect in, from scratch uh, and the font is I think default but if you want to download I will put the link in description. So as you can see it is quite near to the original in just single take so that is kind of achievement. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys and if you have any kind of questions feel free to ask me in the comments and if you did learn something hit that like button so I can know. You can also subscribe to my channel for the future updates and also check out this other tutorials by Tutorials Junction. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.